Hello everyone, this is Iram and today I'll be talking about seven IELTS speaking tips to increase your IELTS speaking band score. So let's get started. So the first uh, tip is be fluent. Speak fluently and spontaneously. You will get more points if you are speaking fluently. Don't give one word answer. Don't give one sentence answer. Let's say examiner asks you, what's your favorite color? And you said blue. So you have given only one word answer. How much English you have spoken? Or if you had given one word answer, I like blue color. Or if examiner asks you, do you like Chinese food? You said, yes. So you answered the question, but how much score you will get uh, for your fluency and coherence, for your vocabulary, for your grammar, for your pronunciation, when your answer is only one word or one sentence, you need to be fluent, but at the same time, you need to be spontaneous. Your answer should be very natural. So for example, you could develop your answer instead of giving one word, you could divide up your answer instead of saying only blue, you could say you can divide up by saying that I like different colors. In summer, I like such type of colors. In winter, I like these type of colors. So you can divide up your answer instead of sticking with one word or one sentence the second one is ask questions if you if you don't understand it sometimes it happens you are unable to understand their accent or maybe you didn't understand the word they said so it's okay to ask examiner to repeat the question so you can say them don't be shy if you if you want to clarify something, you will not lose points for asking the examiner. You can ask the question uh, for, to, for them to repeat. So you can say them, pardon me, please. Do you mean this or that? Then number three, extend your speech. Try to speak at least more than the examiner. If you're asked a question using one sentence, respond with two or more. And never give short answers. For, for instance, if, if examiner said, do you like any sport? So you said, no, I don't like any sports. Do not stop here. Try to develop as much as you can. Okay. Don't give, as I said you earlier, don't give one word answer. Try to extend your answer as longer as you can. I would say you ideally in part one, you can give three sentences answer and um, part two till the time you are stopped by examiner and part three, three to four sentences. Okay, so don't give one word answer, develop it, but don't develop a lot that it should look memorized in part one. So if examiner is asking, what do you do? So what do you do, your job profile or your work or your studies? And then how long you have been working there? What are your job responsibilities? You can include all these things to extend your answer. Number four is be coherent. So if you, if you are not coherent, then also you will, uh, you will think something else. So the question is, you are deviating from the topic. The question is something else. You started saying something else. So be, being coherent will keep you on the topic. You can use linking words and structures, the words and phrases like however, furthermore, moreover. It will enrich your speech. It will also give you a chance to speak more when you are using these cohesive devices. It will make you coherent. Number five is use filler expressions. If you're unsure how to answer a question, you can give yourself a bit more time to think by using this tip, this technique. First, how you can do that? Examiner asks you a question and you don't have any idea. You said, that's a tr tricky question. You could also say, I've not, I have never thought about that before. You could say the things like, well, it's an interesting question. So this way you will have some extra time to plan your answer so you can ask 
uh, you can ask yourself means you you sometimes you know the answer but you need some time to organize you need some time to think about it so you you're using filler expressions the words like i think actually you don't know what do you think but you are giving your mind the time to think about the question so don't instead of taking that pause are doing er and ums, you can use these filler expressions, but make sure you're not using the same filler expression again and again. For instance, uh, if you're using a filler, filler expressions are only the words and phrases that you are using to fill those pauses where you need to uh, get, take time to think you're using that pause. For instance, you said, you know, I think, well, I mean, these are common, you uh, usually used filler expressions. But every time you use the same filler expression, for instance, every with every question, you said it's an interesting question. So all questions cannot be interesting. So you can one time you can use this second time you can use a different filler expression every time you say I think I think, I think you can change. It's too much you think, then you speak. So instead of saying, I think, I think again and again, you could say, what I believe is, I guess, I think, and keep on changing these filler expressions. Okay, number six, um, don't memorize the answers. Okay, if you are giving memorized answers, you will forget. So your answer should be spontaneous. Your answer should be natural. So as I said you earlier, the more natural you are talking, you are getting scores. So don't give memorized answers. Don't memorize your answers. And number seven, and uh, it's the most important one that if you made a mistake, don't panic. So if you said something, let it be. Try to, uh, try to just continue your speech. For instance, I remember a student, I asked him, uh, could you tell me something about your siblings? He said, I have two uh, brothers. Oh, no, sorry. I have three brothers in panic. He, he maybe has forgotten how many brothers he has. It's okay. Examiners will never know. In, in IELTS speaking, the good thing is whatever you say is right. Because nobody is going to check that whatever you are saying is right or wrong. As long as you are able to answer the question, you are able to maintain your fluency vocabulary grammar and pronunciation and pronunciation doesn't mean your accent it means uh, your um, if, if examiner can understand what you are saying you will be getting score so if you commit a mistake let it be move on okay if it is a grammar mistake also that may be a slip slips are also possible that in even in your own language you want to say something else but you so say something else so it's okay it's normal don't panic if you have a mistake don't panic okay thank you for watching i'll come up with some new videos for you you can watch some other videos for the reading and you can also do some listening practice tests uh, from my channel goodbye see you again